Greetings, I'm meteorologist Audrey Puente coming to you from the Fox 5 Weather Center with an update on the nor'easter that's impacting the tri-state area for your Saturday here. Lots of snow is being found north of the city here, especially across northern New Jersey and up into the Hudson Valley. In fact, zooming on into northern New Jersey, right around 78 and in all the areas across this part of the state here. That's where we've been seeing the steadiest snowfall and it's been piling up here because we are seeing temperatures that are at or below the freezing mark. Same thing for you up in the Hudson Valley where it's been relatively lighter snow. However, it is of course a accumulating in this part of the region and you'll stay all snow throughout the duration of this event across Long Island. We're also picking up some light snow here, but you'll see a change over to rain shortly. Same thing for New York City where we did have some snowfall earlier, but now we're starting to see a change over to rain, mainly rain for those of you across the Jersey Shore from Belmar all the way down towards Atlantic City. It'll be steady rain throughout the duration, but where you see the area shaded in pink here, that's where we have a little bit of a mixing happening at times, so it could be a little icy across the central or north central portions of New Jersey. This line will slowly move northward here as I mentioned we'll see a change over here in Manhattan. We're going to see it across Long Island and possibly also into coastal Connecticut as we go further on into the evening. There's a lot of moisture with this system. It extends all the way down towards the mid Atlantic. We're really not going to clear out until we go into Sunday. So in the meantime, we're expecting temperatures or actually temperatures will stay at or below freezing north of the city here in the city though we're going to rise a little bit above uh, the freezing mark. So therefore we're going to come close to reaching the record. Uh, we have 691 days without an inch or more of snowfall. It's going to be really, really close. I'm not quite sure we're going to make it there, but we're going to try. It's been a dry season or a dry year for 2023. In fact, it was the least snowiest year in Central Park with only 2.3 inches being found there. A winter storm warning exists until 6 p.m. on Sunday for the areas shaded in pink here. Winter weather advisories in areas north and west of the city here, including coastal Connecticut. This goes until 11 a.m. on Sunday, so watch out for some slick travel. At the times of high tide, we could also have some coastal flooding in the areas shaded in green here. This is most likely through the high tide cycle on Sunday morning. A look at the future cast shows a lot of the moisture still impacting us as we go through the evening. We're going to change over to rain here in the city and across Long Island and across most of New Jersey. The exception will be in areas north of I-80 and off toward the north here in the Hudson Valley. That's where we're going to stay mainly snow and that's where we could see several inches before it's all said and done. In fact, we could be close to six to ten inches across parts of the Hudson Valley. Isolated areas like in pink shaded zones could be closer or uh, higher than that, even maybe above ten inches. But in and around the city, we're going to see less than an inch, especially across southern New Jersey. Mainly rain here with over an inch of rainfall expected across the island as well as the Jersey Shore. You can track it all with us by downloading our weather app, which is Fox 5 NY Weather.